I ask that you vote for hope and vote for Labour. We will have a parliament that works for you. Is the monarchy fit for purpose? Jeremy Corbyn. Needs a bit of improvement. <laughs> Mr Johnson. The institution of the monarchy is beyond reproach. Is, is, is Prince Andrew fit for purpose? Before we discuss Prince Andrew, I think we should discuss the victims that are there because of what Epstein was doing. And uh, I think there are very, very serious questions that must be answered and nobody should be above the law. I, I think all our sympathies would, should be, obviously, with uh, the victims of, of Jeffrey Epstein and uh, the, the, the law must, must certainly take its course. <laughs> Because Mr Corbyn is trying to conceal the void at the heart of his Brexit policy and refusing to answer the question of which side, which side he would take. Okay. Because the public still, the public thank have you. a right, the public okay, have a thank right you, Mr. to know. Corbyn. Just very, just very briefly, I've Mr... made the position clear. We will have a referendum, we will have negotiation, <laughs> and we will abide by that result. It's the we've, British people yes, we've heard who that. will thank make you, Mr. that Corbyn. decision. We've heard that. Does the truth matter in this election? I think it does. And I, I think it's very important. <laughs> I think it's very important to hear from... I've been very clear about the deal that I've done. There it is. It's in black and white. You can read it. What we know of what Mr Johnson has done is a series of secret meetings with the United States in which they were proposing to open up our NHS markets, as they call them, to American companies. Freedom of Information Act request was made in order to find out what happened at these meetings. That's what happened at these meetings. Every single line of this document redacted out. This is, this is an absolute, this is an absolute invention. It is completely untrue. There are no circumstances, whatever, in which this government or any Conservative government will put the NHS on the table in any trade negotiation. Our NHS will never be for sale. I know Mr Johnson likes a good read, so what I would probably leave under the tree for him would be A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and he could, <laughs> and he could then understand how nasty Scrooge was. Thank you. <laughs> Mr Johnson. Uh, well, I think well, I, I would probably leave a, a copy of, uh, uh, since you want a, a literary uh, effort, uh, a copy of uh, my brilliant Brexit deal. Uh, <laughs> 